everyone how's it going in this video we're going to be talking about managing local user accounts okay so as always I have my web page here on the side um, and that I'm going to be referencing uh, and the first thing that we're going to look at here is understanding that managing users is a very important skill um, for the sysadmin because uh, rail is a server operating system and so there might be multiple users on the system um, or multiple users might need access and then we need to be able to manage those uh, local user accounts um, that are going to be accessing the system okay the first command that we're going to look at is the who command um, and the first thing we want to do is just always man that command so the first one is going to be who right and it says show who is logged onto the system okay uh, simple command um, and we can do just who like this and then you can see here I'm logged in with the learner account um, and you can see here this TTY2 and C0 uh, what this is is uh, just because I have a graphical user interface and I'm also in the, in the terminal here okay that's it for the who command so now we're gonna look at the last command and as always you want to just man page that and last show a listing of last login users another thing that we can do too is show the uh, reboot for the system as well as well so we can see here that if we look here February 20th we can see that I logged in reboot reboot uh, system boot reboot stuff like that okay now let's clear that the next thing we're going to talk about is the types of user accounts and referencing my page here it's going to be root regular and system are the three common accounts so uh, one of the commands that can help us with identifying some more information about a particular user is going to be the id command so we can do let's just do man id first like this and then print real effective user group and ids okay so with this we can just id learner like this and then we can see here the uid we can see that's learner we can see the gid that's learner and then again here groups is learner because when you create the account for the user uh, the group account that they're added to is also the same name so it just creates a group of the same name for that same user and then here we can see 10 here the wheel account and this is because um the learner was uh, added as to have administrative uh, privileges okay uh, similar to similar to root um, another command that we can look at is groups like this like this and we can see what it does is that it took whatever the user that ran it and then it looks at its uh, groups that it's in for that user and then so for example we can do groups and we can do root like that and then root and root same situation for root. Um, let's run it on the root account like this. Okay, as you can see, the root is UID of zero. It's reserved for the root. That's normal. All right. So that was the ID command. Not much to it. Uh, one thing that we are going to do now is start looking at some important files. And the first one that we're going to look at is going to be the password file or the Etsy password file. And then so something that we can do before we look at it is um, we can look at the man page. So the files, certain files that are important have the pat like the have a man page related to them. Okay. So for example, this one is man five pass WD. And the way I found it was simply if you have a file, for example, like we can ls um, Etsy real quick. And there's a bunch of important files in here, right? So the one that we're looking at, for example, is pass password like this, right? Um, and then I was just like, oh, what's the what's the man page for that? Like, what number is that? Because that is a file; it's not a command, right? Or well, it is a command, but uh, what we want to look at is the man page for the file. And um, what we can do is you can do man k like this, and then we can do pass w like this. Right? And then we can see anything related to that in the man manual database. Okay. And then so for me, here's what I want to look at. Number five. Password five. Password file is what I want to look at. Because it is a it is a command. But I wanted to see the file in Etsy. Okay. So we can clear that and then we can do man five 
they'll be like this and then password file right text file that describes user login accounts for the system okay and all of this is accessible on the exam while you're taking it all man pages everything so it's important to know and get familiar with them okay so we can quit out of there and then one of the things that we want to do is actually look at it so i'm just gonna uh cat it real quick here and we're just gonna do pass wd like this okay so as we can see we have multiple accounts here and we can find here at the bottom we can see the learner account right here okay and then on the website here i do have it split out like login name password uh, UID, GID, comment, there's a comment, um, and then we have like the home directory, okay? And then we'll come back to it to look at some more stuff, okay? So for now, let me clear that. Next file that we're gonna look at is the Etsy shadow, right? So we'll, again, we can M5 shadow like this. And then you can see shadow password file. Shadow is a file which contains the password information for the system's account and optional aging information. Okay, so yeah, this is all related to the, the passwords as well. Um, so one thing we can do is we can do the cat for this one as well. Etsy shadow like this. And then you see permission denied. So let's just do like a sudo here. And yeah, it's protected. So we can see here that there are other accounts referenced. We can see here the learner account here is referenced. Okay. And then it just goes on. And then we can see here these sections here are, are talking about like the min, max, um, and things like that. So this is really good too to reference if you create an account and you just want to verify that it got added um, or got recognized. Um, so that's a good file to, to look at. And I have descriptions about what um, each section means and stuff like that. The next file that we want to look at is the login.defs. I just like to say login.default. And we're going to just do the man5 on it. And it's a shadow password suite configuration. So yeah, it defines the, the parameters like here, parameter values for when you create an account. It's going to, when you create an account, this uh, file is going to get referenced in some sections for the new user okay um, and one thing that we can do now is we can cat this as well login this and we can see a lot of important things as well here okay I think uh, one of the things that I have here for uh, for interest that you should consider especially if you need to modify this for like future uh, user accounts for example uh, we can do here like login tries can be changed uh, here. This is going to be really important here. Um, this also is going to be really important here. Um, and then, yeah, this is also going to be really important. And you mask. Okay. Um, and then that's about the main things here. Uh, one thing that we do also want to look at is going to be back at the man page and I also wanted to look at the bottom part here let's just shift G to get to the bottom and then we're gonna go up here ah, so you see here cross references the following cross references shows which programs in the shadow password suite use which parameters okay so you can see here these commands here in particular and which section of the login uh, default uh, it gets referenced okay so yeah like I said this is important here okay so yeah you can do that and then that'll help you get familiar with like oh when I make a change here this command is going to be affected um, so the next file we want to look at is going to be the scale or the short for skeleton okay and if we go to it, we can actually ls it because it's a directory, actually. And um, you won't see anything, but what I want to show you here is that there are these uh, hidden files as well. And so that's the hidden files you get when you ls all here like this. You can see here. So when this account got created, it referenced the scale or skeleton. And we can see here. 
So something that maybe we can do later is, for example, uh, we can do, let's just make a directory in there. So we can do make a directory and then we can do Etsy scale and then we'll do uh, from scale like this. Okay. And I create our oh, permission denied. But we can do sudo like that. Okay, cool. And then so that should be in there now. We'll just do ls. Oh, not in there. Oh, I know, I know. Let's see. All right there. Okay, perfect. So now this account should, or this directory should get made with any new user that we make out there, okay? So the next thing that we wanna do is actually start using some of the commands that are related to creating a user, okay? And modifying and also deleting. So the first one we're gonna do is user add. So we will just wanna man user add. Okay, create a new user or update default new user information, okay? So let's switch to root to do this. And like I said, we always want to get used to using root and uh, because essentially you're going to be the sysadmin, especially taking an exam like the Red Hat CSA. Um, yeah, a lot of things you're probably going to end up doing are going to be in root because a lot of the common accounts or regular accounts don't really have a lot of privileges. So uh, yeah, you're going to be administrating the system and you can't you can administrate it the, you can administer the system without using the root account or just using sudo um, but there are going to be times where you're going to have to use the root account so getting comfortable with it and really focusing on what you're doing is going to be important okay um, so what we're going to do here is just going to use our add and then we're going to do learner two like this okay and then we can reference now the password file to see. Okay, so we can do, we can grip a learner like this. We'll just do learner like this. And then in the Etsy password file. Okay, so we can see now that that account is in there. Okay, so one thing that we do have to do for this account is actually give them a password. Okay, so we can do password like this, and then we can do learner like this too, okay? And then we'll just give them a simple password, simple password, okay, perfect. Um, and so that we've created that user, okay? So that was the first step. Now let's modify the user, right? So let's just pick something. This isn't planned. Let's do man user mod. Um, and let us see, add the user to a supplementary group. Um, let us do, we don't wanna do the password. Let us give them a, Let's just give them a new UID, right? So let's do that, that's something simple. So let's ID, let's ID learner like this, learner two, right? So we can see that UID is gonna be 1002. So let's make that 2000 instead. No, matter of fact, 1500, we'll choose. And then we can do user mod, and then we'll do u, and then we'll do 1500 and then we'll do learner learner two like this okay so now let's id them again and now we can see that that's been changed okay real simple just quick example um so that's normally how i would study i would just pick something to do with an option and then change it okay um the next thing we want to do is delete the user right so then we can do user delete like this Oh, one thing that we can also try to to make sure that it worked is here. So we can also see it, it changed in the password. Okay. So now let's delete my guy here. Learner two. Okay. Let's see what happens. Let's see if he left. So now he's out the pass, uh, the password 
folder okay, or the file. Okay. All right. So the next thing I want to talk about is the no login, the no login shell. Okay. And I'm just going to show you this can be applied with user mod or at the time when you create the user as well. So we can do that. So let us just grep or cat the Etsy file again. Like this. So now that we're here, we can see that several accounts don't have uh, the ability to log in, right? So these are user accounts, system accounts, and we can see that their shell is no login, no login, okay? Here, no login, okay? So there are several accounts um, that just, they don't, they exist for the system uh, to do certain things, and, but they have a, they don't have a shell, like they don't have a login, so you can't type it in and, and try to log into it. And that's important because that limits its ability to be used maliciously or, or something like that, okay? Uh, we talked about permissions before, so now we're gonna go a, a one level deeper on the permissions, and one permission in particular that I wanna talk about is gonna be the special file permission called uh, set UID. And the first thing that we wanna do is we're just gonna do um, uh, which real quick let's do which ls uh, and it just needed to see where it is so us are bin so let's ls us us are bin like this ls add ls boom like this okay um let's do a better view like that okay so if we look here we can see that some of them are highlighted red and then we can also see this S where the X should be or usually is, right? And then so what that means here is that it allows users who do not own the file to execute it as if they were. This means the executable like unmount are owned by root but they can be run with the same privileges, okay? So let us, for example, try um, like, oh, let's look at the sudo command. Okay, so right now, right, we were able to sudo a few things, right? Like we were able to, um, with the learner, we were able to cat the Etsy file, shadow, like this, All right? Permission denied, and then we can sudo, right? And then we can see it, perfect. So the next thing that we can do here is let's log back into root, so root, And then we can change it, right? So we can do change mod like this. We'll do verbose. We'll take away the um, the what's the name? The set UID permission from what was it? USR bin, and then we'll do sudo, right? So we're gonna take it away. Boom. So we can see verbosely that we can change this S to X, okay? So now let's log out, let's go into learner, and then let's try to cat that Etsy shadow again. Okay, so Etsy shadow, like this, permission denied, and then now let's sudo. Okay, oh, so must be owned by UID zero and have the set UID bit set. Okay, so it can't do it now. So let's add that back. One, two, three, and then we're gonna go back here. We're just gonna add that back, okay? So I just wanted to show you that quick example, and um, yeah, it, it's it's very important to, to be able to to look at that and just understand what's going on. Being familiar with it is gonna be the most important part. Uh, this is something that I don't think you will do frequently on the system, but um, like I said, knowing it is uh, better than not knowing it. So that's all for this section in managing users. Um, you're always gonna be managing users. User accounts are part of the system and all that's actually used on a daily basis uh, by the system, by regular users. Um, and it's really, really one of those important objectives um, because uh, no matter what system you go to or where you work, you're gonna be managing some kind of users. And um, yeah, like I said, it's uh, invaluable for sure. Okay, thank you so much.